Today we're going to be taking a look at Native American cultures and specifically how their culture was affected by their geography and their climate. So a big thank you to Mr. Mamontoff from Piney Point Elementary School down in Houston for this information. So adapting to the new land, after the Ice Age had ended and the glaciers were retreating or going away, that was when plants and animals started to return to the land, lakes and rivers were forming, and Native Americans were able to follow those plants and animals to different areas where they could expand their territory to live. So over thousands of years, Native Americans moved to these new lands and adapted to their new environments. So over thousands of years, very distinct cultures of Native Americans formed based on the regional environment they had to adapt to. So you can see from this map right here that some of the regions included the eastern woodlands, the southeast, the Great Plains, the southwest, the coastal northwest or the Pacific Northwest, and the Arctic region. Let's take a look at the eastern woodlands area. So Native Americans from this area had a geographic location that was surrounded by forests and they could use that location, that geography, for hunting, for making their homes, the wigwams and longhouses, like this wigwam pictured here, as well as for gathering food such as wild roots, fruits, and berries. On the plains, Native Americans were nomadic, meaning that they moved around and they were not settled in one specific location. They were nomadic, they could pick up their teepees and move with the herds of buffalo. Now the buffalo migrated due to the four seasons climate that the plains have. So Native Americans were able to move with the buffalo because they were such a big part of their culture and one of their keys to survival. Looking at the Pacific Northwest, Native Americans in that area could use the rivers for salmon and fish. Um, if they lived close enough to the ocean, they could even go whaling. And they could also use the plentiful wood from the forest nearby, which you can see from these images with their totem poles that were part of their culture. And in the background here, you can see one of their plank houses. Okay, and the last region we'll talk about today is the Southwest. So Native Americans in the Southwest had to adapt to very harsh desert environments by following animal herds or by settling near stable sources of water, which were scarce, but they could set up irrigation for growing crops, such as corn was probably the most prevalent. So adapting to the geography, all of these different region regions they had to adapt to their environment around them. So Native Americans adapted by exploiting what each environment had to offer. With these adaptations Native Americans developed a way of life or a culture and their culture was affected by geographic factors such as their climate. So what shelter or housing was needed to survive? The housing in the southwest needed to be different than what was located up in the Arctic region just based on what the weather patterns were over time. Another adaptation was based on the temperature of the area and the availability of water which affected the ability to collect wild plants or for them to grow crops to sustain them. Okay, Continuing about adapting to their geography um, they had to adapt to the availability of animals for hunting, fishing, or for domesticating, in other words for raising. Um, the availability of other natural resources, so whether they're building shelters with them, building their own clothing, whether they're making tools, they had to have those other resources nearby and they would adapt to what they had in the area. How close they were to other tribes, so whether they were in competition or cooperation with neighboring tribes and their proximity to rivers and trails that they could navigate. So Native Americans adapted in remarkable ways to their environment by developing tools, weapons, housing, and clothing that used the resources that were available to them. They did little in the way of modifying their environment. 
like cutting down forests, digging canals, building dams, roads, or monumental stone buildings. Basically what they did is they took the, uh, the resources from the geography around them that was there due to the climate and they made a way of life, a culture based around that. So I hope you have a little bit better understanding of how climate and geography affected and impacted the way of life for Native Americans.